A new detox treatment is popping up at addiction clinics across the country. It claims to restore brain function, block cravings, and relieve withdrawal symptoms, all without drugs. But is it a breakthrough or bad science? Take a look. IV treatments using NAD are popping up at detox clinics across the U.S. with a promise to help cure even the toughest addiction. NAD is present in every living cell and is important to cell nuclear DNA repair and maintenance. The thought is people suffering from addiction have depleted NAD stores and need a boost to help them retain normal function and improve their quality of life. And while this sounds like new science, NAD has been used since the late 1960s in intravenous form to significantly lessen withdrawals drugs and alcohol. Advocates of this treatment say it's the best current solution for drug abuse and post-acute withdrawal symptoms, while critics say there's not enough scientific evidence to justify its use. So, is this a potential addiction cure that we have not fully tapped into yet? Well, joining us against using NAD for detox is University of Central Florida professor and author of The Opioid Fix, Dr. Basha Andraka Christou. On the other side is board certified psychiatrist and addiction medicine specialist, Dr. Richard Repass, who believes this treatment saves lives. All right, welcome to the show, docs. Thank you. All right, Dr. Repass, why are you using NAD to help people detox off of drugs and alcohol? NAD is an essential molecule that helps support enzyme function. Enzymes are, are the, the, the machines of the cell and how everything adjusts and moves uh, to, to make changes in the cell's metabolism and, and function. Drugs and alcohol, they, they are invaders in the cell and they come in and they change the cell function and, and the cell has to adapt to them. This is called an allosteric state. What we wanna do is, is move the patient back to homeostasis and that's where NAD really shines. NAD will be used always because it is used in every living cell. But we are, we're, by flooding the system, we remove limitations on how quickly these changes can occur. And so it enables people to more quickly and more completely uh, detox from the substance. All right, if I follow you, Dr. Repass, you're saying that NAD works systemically on a cellular level throughout the body to give it a little bit of boost, right? Exactly. All right, so how does that relate specifically for addiction? Addiction is a state of being where, where the body has adapted to the use of the substance. You know, we, we typically see people who, who will drink a fifth a day or people who will, will be taking you know, the equivalent of 20, 30 oxycodones a day. Now fentanyl is even worse. These are, the body has to adapt and the, and the body and the, the nervous system is amazing in its ability to adapt, to be able to tolerate being with these toxins. But that requires major changes at the cellular level that allow us to live. Because if you, know, you or I were just to take that much of one of these drugs or that much alcohol, we'd just be out cold, we'd be done. The body has to adapt up to those things. Some people are more susceptible to developing addictions, but anyone can. Anyone can become physiologically dependent. And we want to help people return their function as quickly and completely as possible. And NAD is a, is a huge tool for that. 